The iPhone 5s runs Apple's A7 chip, which the company claimed was twice as fast as A6 but is hamstrung by paltry 1GB RAM. You'll notice this the moment you open a few tabs on Safari and try switching between them. Some of them will reload the entire web page as the device doesn't have enough RAM to keep those tabs in memory. Using brand new phones and writing reviews gives us a fairly accurate picture of what you get when you buy a phone. That experience can change dramatically a few months in, when your smartphone begins to show its first performance issues and as the first major software update arrives a year later, one starts to feel the limits of one generation old hardware. Gadget's 360 staff members tend to change their phones roughly once every two years, which allows us to report long-term observations that paint a more accurate picture of a phone's longevity. Many of the phones we own get big price cuts over time, which means that more people will consider buying them even if they are a year or two years old. This correspondent has been using an iPhone 5's 32 GB for the past two years. Currently the 16 GB variant is available at around Rs 22,500. Read on to find out what you're in for if you buy this phone. Wear and tear. Hindsight, they say, is always 2020 its Even though Samsung's large Android phones were successful, Apple stuck to the 4-inch sized iPhone in 2013. When the 4.7-inch iPhone 6 was first released, this correspondent didn't really feel the need for a bigger screen as most of our reading and gaming was happening on an old iPad 3. However, a year on the iPad has started to show its age, almost no apps open without a significant lag, the iPhone 5s has become our primary computer. For the past few months, we've found ourselves